Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SQL Server Performance Monitoring and Tuning video brought to you by SQLWorkshops.com. In this video, we will talk about TempDB metadata contention. TempDB metadata contention applies only to temporary tables and not table variables. Let's look at an example. To practice this example along with me, you need the SQL test tool. To get the SQL test tool, you can go to the website sqltest.org and click on download. There you will find a link to install SQL test. Once you have the SQL test tool, you can go to file, open online examples. There you will find the example SQL test underscore table variable versus temp table temp DB metadata contention. Let's press OK to open this example. In this example, we create a table called tab 72. This table has three columns, C1 integer primary key cluster, C2 integer, and C3 character 2000. We are going to insert 2000 rows into this table. Column C1 and C2 will have values between 1 and 2000. Column C3 has replicate A2000. And we are creating two store procedures. The first store procedure declares a table variable with column C1 and C2 and inserts 16 rows from our table tab 72 into this table variable. The second store procedure PROC2 is similar to PROC1. Instead of creating a table variable, it creates a temporary table and inserts the same 16 rows into this temporary table. To create this table and the two store procedures, let's click on workload 4 tab and let's click on start current. The store procedures and the table has been created. Now let's go to settings and go to comments. Let's copy these statements into one of our management studio windows. Here, let's look at how many data files we have for TempDB. There you see we have one data file for TempDB and one log file for TempDB. Let's see if we have any trace flags implemented for this instance. No, there are no trace flags. Now, let's go to the SQL test tool and let's go to workload one. In workload one, we are going to execute this procedure PROC1 100 times in a loop. And we are going to do this for 120 seconds. Let's execute by clicking on start current while you are in workload one. You see the average execution time is around 18 milliseconds. To see the time in milliseconds, you can click on tools and you can click on average DB time in milliseconds. Let's cancel the query and execute again. Yes, it is 18 point some milliseconds, very reproducible. Let's cancel this query. Let's go to workload two. It is same as workload one, except we are going to execute PROC2. Let's start this workload. You see, instead of 18 milliseconds, this takes 66 milliseconds. This is due to TempDB metadata management overhead. In SQL Server, temporary tables have a different scope compared to table variable. Let's look at an example. Let's go to SQL Server Management Studio and let's go to this window where we are creating a temporary table. Here we are creating a table called hash t1 and we are inserting three rows. This table is created at the session level. It is not inside a store procedure. Let's create this table and let's create a store procedure. This store procedure test one selects count of star from hash t1. Let's create the store procedure and let's execute the store procedure test one. There you see it returns three, the count of star that is three. Now what we are going to do is create an another store procedure. This store procedure is called test two. It also creates a temporary table with the same name hash T1 with C1 and C2, similar columns like this table. And it inserts seven rows into this table and finally calls our store procedure test one. Let's create the store procedure. And when you execute the store procedure test two, it returns seven. The store procedure test one returns seven because the store procedure test one now refers to the temporary table 
created by store procedure test 2 instead of that temporary table created at the session level. Temporary table has different scope than table variable. You can create a temporary table in one store procedure and the called store procedure can access the temporary table. When it comes to table variable, the scope is limited to the batch or the store procedure. You cannot declare a table variable in one store procedure and access it from the called store procedure. Let's look at an, another example. Let's go to the SQL test tool. Let's go to workload one and let's execute the store procedure using 24 threads concurrently. So 24 table variables will be created concurrently. Let's start current. Let's look at what kind of contention we have in SQL Server. Let's execute this query, selecting from request, which selects wait type, wait time, and wait resource. There you see it has page latch up weights and page latch sh weights, always on 211. This is the typical tempdb allocation contention. Two is the database ID for tempdb. One is the first file. Since we have only one file, we have a contention on the first file. And the page ID one, that is the final one, refers to the PFS page. And this is the tempdb allocation contention. Let's go to the SQL test tool. Let's cancel this query. You see the average execution time is about 146 milliseconds. Let's go to workload two. Let's execute this workload also using 24 threads concurrently. We are executing PROC2, which is going to create temporary table. Let's do start current. It is not 146 milliseconds average. It's going to 600 milliseconds. Let's look at the wait type. Let's press F5. There you see we have page latch EX and page latch SH. On the page, 21116 page number is 116. Let's see which object this page belongs to. Let's press F5. Here I'm executing a query with the database ID equal to the current database ID, that is the tempdb, and I'm saying file equal to 1 and page ID is 116. This is the page we noticed when we were monitoring this request data structure. I have to Refresh this couple of times to get the object name. Let's press this sometime. Yeah, there you see the object is sys schema objects. This is one of the system tables in TempDB. Let's see some information about the system table. We are in books online, system base tables, and here is some information about this base table represents an object in the database. When you create a temporary table, SQL Server has to update the system table and this can lead to contention when many users are concurrently creating temporary tables. Now let's go to SQL Server. Let's add additional files for TempDB. Let's enable trace flag 11. 1, 8, and see if this contention disappears. There you see the execution time is around 459 milliseconds. Now let's go to workload 3. Here I have the script to create additional files for TempDB. In my computer I have 24 cores, so I am going to create 23 additional files and alter the first file so it has the same size as rest of the files. To do this, I am using a placeholder for the location of TempDB called TempDB file location. Since I don't know the directory structure in your computer, I am using this placeholder. If you want to execute this workload 3 before doing that, you should go to the SQL test directory under documents and you need to create a file called find and replace. In this file, you need to provide the placeholder and you have to provide 
where this placeholder points to which directory. So there is some information about this in the comments. So you can refer to the name of the file and the location and example entries that goes into this file. Now let's create additional files for TMDB. Also, if you have different amount of logical processors, you should customize the script. So you create either 12 or 64 files based on the amount of logical processors. So let's go to workload three and let's do start current. This will create additional files for our TMDB. Now let's go to SQL Server Configuration Manager and let's add the trace flag dash T1118. Let's add, apply. Okay, and then we will restart this instance of SQL Server so the trace flag takes effect. Now let's go to our management studio and check how many files we have for TMDB, 25 files, one log file and 24 data files, all data files of same size. This is very important. And then let's look at the trace flags. We have trace flag 1118 for this instance of SQL Server. Now let's go to workload one and let's start this workload again with 24 concurrent threads. So let's execute workload one. Let's click on start current. Let's look at the average execution time. It is 50, 49 milliseconds. Let's go to SQL Server and look at the contention. Let's press F5. The wait type is null. Hardly you see any contention. The wait type is again null. Let's look if we have any contention. The wait type here we see page latch up on the PFS page of the 22nd file, but it is not very common. Once in a while we have weights, but otherwise we have no weights. And the query is executing quite fast, 45 milliseconds for 100 executions, while 24 threads are running in parallel. Now we will go to workload two. We will cancel this workload. We will go to workload two and we will repeat this for PROC2. PROC2 is going to create temporary tables. So we will do start current. There you see the wait time is quite high. It is not 46. Similar to the time we had when we did not have the trace flag 1118 and additional files for 10 db. Now let's go and look what kind of contention we have. It is again on 21116, 21302. You see, this is not on PFS or a scam. I will refresh a couple of times. You see, it is always on 116 or 302. These page numbers could be different in your test. Let's make a summary. The concurrent creation of temp tables can lead to metadata contention and this is only applicable for temporary tables and not table variable. If creating i number of temporary objects concurrently from many sessions is necessary, it is not only important that you resolve TempDB allocation contention by adding additional files and trace flag 1118, you may also have to use table variable instead of temporary table. If not, all the improvements gained by addressing TempDB allocation contention will not be useful. Table variables have many other disadvantages like no statistics leading to poor estimation, non-optimal execution plan, when inserting into query cannot execute in parallel. So it is important to consider all these factors before deciding. TMDB metadata contention is not new. To my knowledge, 
I have seen this since SQL Server 7.0, more than 15 years. But there is not much awareness about this among developers and DBAs. There are ways to work around this TemDB metadata contention so you get the best of both worlds. No TemDB metadata contention and you get the benefits of statistics and parallel insert into so your queries are executing faster. I will try to cover this in a future video. I worked at Microsoft for about 10 years, including working as program manager in the SQL Server development team. As a consultant, I worked with many customers, troubleshooting performance issues, providing performance tuning training, including for companies like Bevin. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.